Hello friends, uh, myself Rakhi Mutha, IT department, assistant professor from Biani Groups of Colleges. Yeah. Today we are discussing class in C++. What are the class in C++? Class is actually an entity. You can see class is an entity. It is actually a collection of properties and attributes. Technically, if we are saying properties are known as attributes and in a programming terminology we can say that uh, attributes are the data members in the class. As well as the behaviors we can uh, take as a processor and in a technical wording in a programming terminology we can say as a member functions. For class we have to take particular structured approach. The syntax of a class creation is a class, it is a keyword and the class name. The class name can be anything, it is just like a, a variable name. Then we should place here the public or private, it is a scope specifier. Then we should place some data members and member function. This is the syntax for data member and member function data type and data member name and member function. These member function we can define here and we can define outside the class declaration also. That time we should use the scope resolution operators. Now, this is an example to create the class account. We take an example class which have the collection of account number, account type, balance. And we have three functions which can create an account, deposit an account and withdraw value from account. You can see here I specify the public specifier for all these data members. Public specifier specify a data member or a member function that we can utilize these members from the object of class. If we specify private on the place of public, this cannot be utilized by the object of class because these are protected from outside world. Now, here we specify this as a public, so we can utilize from object as well as from the members of the function. This member of function can utilize private also. See, here we have three data members, account number, account type and balance and one function create account. This create account function, what it is doing? It just take the account number, account type and balance and it just put it in the data members. Second function is deposit function. When we call the deposit function, we pass a value which goes in the formal argument this amount. This amount then increment the value of balance. And next function is withdrawal function which takes an amount and it just decrement the value in balance. Then you can see this is finished by the semicolon. So, it is the syntax of a class that we should define each and every members and then finish with semicolon. It is the definition of class. After declaration of class, we should create an object of class. That is why we can use all the members and we can access all the public members of the class. All these members are public, we can utilize here. Here you can see this is the main function in which we have to do everything. The main function we have declared a object A of class account. Here you can see class account. Here we utilize account as a data type. What is this? It is a user defined data type. We can define our own specified data type using the class keyword. After that this create account is a function. What is this? It is a member function, member function of class account. Here we call the create account function and do not pass any argument because in, his in this definition we do not provide any of the argument in this function. After that we call a dot deposit. What is this dot? This dot is known as dot operator or member of operator. Whenever we want to access any of the op, um, any of the member of any object, we have to use this member of operator. 
after all we call this withdrawal function and pass the value 1000 and it will decrement from balance variable. At finish we can access this balance also. Now, this balance is the member of A object. So, we should use A dot balance because balance is also a ob member of A object. So, this is all about the class how we can create a class definition and how we can utilize the object of class. Thank you.